Hello, my name is Parker Collins. I have been playing guitar for around 16 years now, since I was 8 years old. What well, made me start playing guitar was actually my mom. She wanted me to do something outside of school, so she signed me up for guitar lessons in like 2008 or so. And that's really what started it all. When I was younger, I actually didn't enjoy playing it. Um, it was more her forcing me to. Uh, but it's actually a lot more fun now that I'm not being forced to. I actually thoroughly enjoy it now. I have for a few years now, probably 10 plus years, when I'm not being forced to play. It's pretty fun. You know, um, guitar's impact in my life. I just, I, I love music, and so it was always fun to play. I, I listened to music a long time ago when I was a little kid. My dad used to play like a trivia game with me in the car. He would play the first two notes of a song or so and then mute it and so like what was that and I would guess and it kind of you know got my love for music going uh, and ever since then I've been a music addict it's pretty fun love music uh, my top three bands are probably uh, Led Zeppelin number one big Jimmy Page fan um, Deep Purple I really love Richie Blackmore's playing um, and then number three maybe Hendrix or Pink Floyd. I'm a big 70s guy, 60s, 70s guy. Um, I just love classic rock. So, yeah. uh, Probably one of my favorite Zeppelin songs is probably from Led Zeppelin 2. I'm a big Heartbreaker guy. I love uh, the song Heartbreaker. Um, uh, my favorite song for Deep Purple is most likely off the Burn album. It's probably either Burn or it's going to be You Fool No One. I really like the guitar in You Fool No One. It's a really fun solo to play. Uh, and then Hendrix. Hendrix is my favorite Hendrix song is probably either Who Knows, Voodoo Child, or I don't know. Probably, probably Voodoo Child. This is one of my favorites from him. Fun to play. I, I've played that one live. I've played all of those live, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure I have. I don't know. I forget what I've played. It's been so many years, and I've done so many shows, and I just kind of forget. So, I, I loved playing on stage. I, uh, I never really had a problem with it. Never really got anxiety from it. I don't know why. I, um, other people did around me, but I just never really had that feeling. Um, it was just always fun to be up there and playing. If I messed up, I messed up, you know? Who cares? It's music. It's not always perfect. It's pretty fun. My favorite Zeppelin albums that I own, both of these are actually from... This one's from 69, the other one is from 76. They're both original prints. Uh, first one is Led Zeppelin 2, big fan of it. Uh, Anna's dad actually bought this for me, and funny enough, on the back, I don't know if you can see this, but at the top it says James Parker, which I thought was funny. My dad's name is James, and my name is Parker, so I thought it was a pretty little thing to get. I didn't know it said that until I actually got my hands on it when he bought it. Uh, it was pretty funny to look at, but yeah, I, I absolutely love this album. This is one of the few albums... Well, not really one of the few, but I can I can listen to this album front to back over and over and over again. I love it so much. Second one that I bought from Zeppelin, at least, um, is this. Anna also bought me this one too as a gift. Uh, it's pretty hard to find. I personally haven't been able to find like reprints of it um, even online. It was a little harder to get, but this is an actual original copy from 1976 uh, from the movie that they did. Um, and it's just their live album from the movie, and I absolutely adore this album because it has um, some of my favorite songs on there. Uh, pretty, pretty great album. Big fan of it. Big fan. Of it. One of my favorite pickups from not that genre, um, from classic rock, is most likely the Backseat Lovers. I am a big fan of the Backseat Lovers. Um, started listening to them in I think 2019. 2020, whenever this album released, I think. I'd have to look at that. It's around the time this album released, I found them, and I was like, oh, they're awesome. I love their music. Um, so yeah, this one's a pretty cool album. Another one that I was actually surprised to find uh, would be these two. I also really, so, I like classic rock. I also like a little 60s, 70s pop. Um, very few, but I do like them. Uh, Todd Rundgren, really love this album. 
uh, actually played the majority of this album live for the School of Rock, which was pretty fun. Um, really like it. Something anything. Big, uh, big album. Love it. And then another one I found was this album by Todd Rundgren. I actually forget the name. Uh, okay, I don't remember the name of this album. But it's the one that has international feel on it. Uh, big fan of this one, too. It was a crazy pickup. I'm kind of shocked I even found it, to be honest with you. Big fan of these albums. I'm a bit of a nerd when it comes to music. I have them sectioned off, as you can see. I have British Invasion Rock, uh, American Classic Rock, Southern Rock, uh, Rap, Pop Music, um, Jazz, and then uh, 70s Pop. I've played so many venues that I just, they kind of blend together, kind of forget. I played the Mid-South Fair. Where I'm at now is mostly because of my mother, <laughs> funny enough. Um, I didn't really care what I did after high school, you know, it was just kind of like whatever. Um, and then she mentioned Belmont and music degree. Originally I was going to come here for performing arts, but I know that they're very like harsh with it, kind of like Berkeley, so it's like that's all you're going to do. If you're like a songwriting major or performing arts major, that's what you spend most of your time doing. Which I know is fun. I probably should have done that now. I would have probably had a lot more fun here at Belmont. Um, but I chose the path of audio engineering, um, which I'm actually loving. I, I do like audio engineering. I'm a big fan of movies, so that was a good segue into that industry. Um, I'm a big, big movie fanatic as well, other than just music. Uh, I don't like being on the other side of recording music. I don't really like recording it. Uh, it's kind of mediocre for me. It, it's all right. Uh, not I. I would hate that being as a job. I would much rather be the one playing, like a session musician. I really like that. Uh, but what I've really transitioned into now is doing uh, foley, foley and ADR and stuff, and setting up for that. Uh, I have an internship at digital post production, or digital audio post production in uh, here on Music Row in Nashville. So that's fun. Can't wait to start that. I think it's going to be a very fun thing. They do, or they they cut uh, six, four to six movies a year. I think is what they end up um, doing the ADR for, and they record music, they do audio books, they do just a whole plethora of things, which is pretty fun. I do like music, but not enough to be behind, you know, the recording um, aspect of it. I'd rather be the one playing. 